Oh, welcome back. Today I'm going to try and get the sump on the Landy. Uh, the reason it's taking quite a while is just for silly reasons really. The main reason is where the Landy is at the moment to get under the front of the Landy after I open the garage door and lay across it. But it's been raining hard for the last sort of week or so. So I've got a little break in the weather now so I'm going to quickly get under there and get the sump on. Uh, I had a couple of issues with the sump apart from it being full of muck and slurry and all sludge. It's all nice and clean now. Is these two bolts here. The rest of them studs, that's the 5 16th uh, BSF studs, apart from this one and that one. I looked in the catalogue and it does actually call out for with the stud uh, bolts. Uh, these are the, which is one of the bolts that come out. I don't know if you can focus on there or not. But it actually, it's actually pulled a little bit of the thread out. But I did check it out. Oh, you can't really see the thread, it's not going to focus. But the thread is actually Whitworth. I checked it all out. And I've got some nice new oh, bolts here. They're going to go in, and um, what I did, I used uh, I found a 5 16th Whitworth tap, and I tapped the two holes out that one and that one. So that's, that's quite a deep thread in there, it goes in well, for some reason, it goes in for about an inch. So that's not going to be a problem at all now. And I'll put some uh, copper slip on them, make sure I can come back out again nice and easy. The middle one there is actually a BSF, but it's actually a blind hole, and it seems to go in sort of, I don't know, not even 10 mil. So what I've done for that one. Instead of trying to put a bolt in it, I've got a. Can't really see it that well. It's a BSF, 516th BSF bolt with the head cut off. I've locked two nuts together. I'm not going to focus, so you've got to be a bit blurry. Uh, so I can wind that one in. So that middle one there is actually going to be a stud rather than a bolt. Alright, so the best thing to do is have a quick look under the landing and I'll show you where it's going. Right, back under the landing. Again, I'm not sure that's going to focus or not, but the holes we were talking about before are uh, that one there. With, it's tapped out nicely now. It's going to be a bit blurry. I know it's blurry on my eyes. That's the BSF one. That's another. Well, you can see how deep the holes are. Look. You can see that one. Just about goes in. Anyway, so we'll get that one done. Um, what I was going to try and show you, it's all clean under it now. All the surfaces are all nice and clean, as you can see the oil filters in. What I wanted to try and show you, I don't think I'm going to do it or not, is to try and show you the bores. There isn't actually any uh, cross hatching on there, which I thought it, I was hoping it's going to be. But they look quite smooth, so maybe this engine's done a bit more work than we originally thought. So, that's it. We've got the uh, big end bearings. I've actually got split pins in them. I've not actually seen that before. There you go, no taint there every day. Anyway, so let's get ready to put a sample on before it drops out of the sky. Uh, oh, the other thing is the, I'm a bit too close to that, but the oil filter, I've taken that off and give it a good clean. So we're pretty much all ready to go. Well, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye now.